Hello, welcome to the second um, episode of season two of Live with Code.uk. This is all about how to get data into your program. So building on what we did last week, which was displaying the output um, to a text window. This week, um, and apologies in advance, we've got some um, some pretty lame jokes in this episode. Um, as well as displaying stuff as output, we're also allowing the user to type something in. So let's have a look. I don't know why you never see elephants hiding in a tree. Um, and then it goes straight into the next joke. So these are live coding videos. The idea is that you can see um, some hints and suggestions as we go through some of these. Um, so for example, dear, look at that. I've got challenge one, two, three, that's better. Um, add a welcome message at the start and then make the user press enter before the first joke is displayed. Well, I'll let you choose your own welcome message here. Welcome to Joke Master or Bad Jokes or something like that. Um, and to let the user type something in, um, we use input instead of print. Now, next week, we'll learn how to get what the user types in here and store that and use it in your own programs. But for now, if you want to ask a question, we just use input. Um, to add your own joke, you can just copy and paste these two lines and change the question and the punchline. But to pause for a second between each joke, you'll need to import some extra functionality into Python. We'll import an external module called time. That just tells Python how to do everything to do with time. And then rather than going straight from the punchline of one joke into the next one, we can then do time.sleep for however many seconds you like. So that'll be 10 seconds, that'll be two, two seconds, etc. So if we want to pause to read each joke, this should work. And then we've got the pause and the pause. Fab, well done. Um, so if you want some practice on this, um, then there are the, the Python basics activities to work through. Um, so remember on live.wcode.uk or compete.wcode.uk if your school signed up for the free weekly challenges, um, you can type out this code as fast as you possibly can to improve your accuracy or your speed. Uh, you can access this code to work through the challenges that you've seen. Um, the KPRIDE activities will um, help with your code comprehension and your debugging skills. But the interactive tutorials this week um, are all to do with Python input. So let's have a look at those just to get you started. So the idea is um, you have some activities for try it where the code works, um, but there are some challenges down at the bottom. Um, there are some challenges for debug it where the code doesn't work this time and you've got to spot the common mistakes. And then there's an extend it where um, you're more or less starting from an empty canvas and you have to, to work through those challenges. Remember, each challenge has some hints underneath. And the more challenges you complete, the more points you get. Um, and those points, um, your teacher can track them and you can compete against your classmates on compete.co.uk. All right. All the very best. And I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye bye.